class is about PHP variables. Okay, so unlike other languages, okay, PHP variables need not to be declared. So that means you can directly assign a value to the variable like you're not supposed to say okay this is an integer this is a string okay this is a boolean so you're not supposed to say anything to the uh, compiler here compiler in a sense it's a it's an interpreter here you're not supposed to say anything to it just assign a value to it assign a value to it value to the variable and it assumes as per the value like suppose you if you assign a string to a variable it considers the the variable to be a string variable if you if you assign a integer value to the variable it assumes it to be an integer okay like such so in php variables always start with a dollar sign okay variables start with a dollar sign so whatever it it, it can be it has to start with a dollar name dollar variable name okay so i follow certain standards in naming the variables actually these are like universal standards but for me i mean most of the people out there uh, they do different different sets of naming to the variables but for me i have some standards in naming the variables which i have discussed in the javascript class so if you guys want to know more about this you can go back to the javascript variables class and you can find out like whatever the rules which I follow in my class. Hey Taufik, we just started. I was talking about uh, the course details to the new guys here, uh, the new guys who have come to the class today. All right. So just variable, no declaration. You assign a value. It depend depending on the value, it assumes that okay, it's a string or integer or whatever. Okay. Now coming to the standards to naming. Standards of naming the variable. I always give a meaningful name to my variable. I don't just simply give okay uh, dollar $x. This is not a standard name. So what does a dollar $x mean? So always what I really do is like always give meaningful names. So my first rule is give meaningful names to the variables. And the second, the second rule is if I have to, if the variable name to be like two words. I always separate them with an underscore. So if the variable if the variable name has two words, okay, separate them with underscore. This is my second rule. Everybody follows the same uh, convention. Like you know, for instance, uh, I've shown in the example to like. I don't say this variable name instead as an underscore because again it's it's a meaningful name like people has to understand whatever we write like I, I follow this principle like don't write a code which a computer can understand write a code where a human can understand it <coughs> so always remember like you know use commenting on your code use meaningful names so that you know people understand it and use conventions so conventions in a sense like sometimes people feel like you know if i if i name it in the universal standards people will understand like you know people from a different company so follow some standards like you know uh, say for instance this is variable name let's say if it's a string you can do that like you know sm underscore variable name means it's a variable name which is a string so follow your own conventions but follow that standard throughout your project that's what i i'm trying to say so again uh, a variable name should not start with a number or special character so that means it's it has to start with an alphabet okay a variable can have a number but it should not be at the start of it it can have a number at any point of time <coughs> and a variable should not have a space in between and not even a special character okay so what else and the other standard i follow is like i don't i don't give uh, 
uh, a capital letter like I always use lowercase for my variables okay so now uh, based on these standards okay I'll put out some variables here you guys tell me uh, I don't know how you let, 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 let us throw a poll now <coughs> so Just be with me. I'm just preparing a poll here. I got it. <coughs> just published. Answer the poll. Let's see. So which one is not a variable name? That's a question. So we got uh, several options here. Okay, so <coughs> good. Uh, I, I did a spelling mistake actually. I was I was a hurry, I was in hurry. So it's variable name. Okay. So the right answer is oh, a lot of people are going for the right answer great good going so I'll just uh, publish the results okay so the right answer is number two uh, it's it should not it is not supposed to have a special character inside it so it it, it uh, what you call it cross two rules two restrictions like it should not start with something else it only it should start only with or what do you say uh, an alphabet and it should not have a special character in it so answer 2 option 2 is the right answer there so most of the people have answered option 2 except uh, 2 here okay good going great so that is it good now let's see <coughs> what kind of variables we have or what kind of values a variable can hold so when I say value so since the variables are uh, defined by their value in PHP okay now what kind of variables we have we have